Holy salute, brothers and sisters in Christ. I was just recently thinking about something. As I'm out here working and raking the yards, uh, I was sitting out in nature and I was thinking how uh, you could work for something for seven years or seven months and in a matter of minutes, somebody can come and take it away from you. Um, and you can, I mean, you could be as diligent and hardworking as you want to. And just as you're about to receive a blessing, somebody can come and jump and cut you off and take it from you. And then they'll say, oh, God bless me with this. Unknowing to them or kind of selfish on their part that they just come and show up at the right time. Daddy. And Daddy. you kind of have your blessings stole from you after all the hard work you're empty handed but uh Daddy. trust and believe that everything Daddy. will work itself out that if you do something on god's behalf Daddy. that everything's going to work out in your favor if you just hold on a little bit longer the lord will make it right amen he might have that person come back and, and repent to you and say i stole your blessing or or I just can't handle what I thought you could, or you don't never know how that thing's going to unfold. But I said all that to say this. Sometimes we look at things in the natural and we say, oh, he's young and he don't know nothing because he hadn't been through enough because he's too young. But we, had, we should look to one another in humility, unknowing what somebody has been through in their life. Somebody could have been through something in 15 years that we haven't in 50. I mean, you, you can't just look at somebody and say, well, uh, uh, he's 30 or he's 40. He don't know nothing because this 40-year-old over here don't know nothing. You can't really discern that way. You have to really discern and look at the heart of a man. Amen. You got to be able to distinguish twin from twin because even twins have different DNA. Even twins are differently, slightly. They may look similar, but their heart is different and their thoughts are different. So you can't look at one 30-year-old, one 40-year-old, one 50-year-old and say they're all the same, all 50-year-olds, 60, 70 because everybody walks a different path and all roads lead home to Jesus. Amen. Or should. There's somewhere along the path that walks where you're going to have a moment where is this? on a street called Straight with the Lord. But, uh, you know, I also want to say this. If you see one sort of wavering I believe the Lord wants me to do this. I believe the Lord wants me to do that back and forth. And they don't really know what to do or what to think. And maybe you may be dealing with a confused spirit or a religious spirit. And the Bible says God is not the author of confusion. You know, from church to church to every saint, he's not the author of confusion. And the Bible says that God changes not. So if you ever hear somebody say, well, God told me to go over here. God told me to go over there. God told me to go back. God told me to go over there. That's a little bit confusing. And I don't know if that is God that they're hearing from. It could be a religious spirit or their own selves that, that they're following. Amen. But we got to pray for people like that, especially in a moment of, of need or or a moment of mourning or lamentation or we don't never know what somebody's going through I always pray for everybody i was considering having a revival and i and, and i still want to with my heart of hearts wants to have a revival here at the local church i pastor and and i believe god wants this but unless a miracle take place, I don't know who I'm going to get to evangelize to come and preach at the revival. Uh, I have some people lined up. And they've sort of backed out. Um, I just don't know what else to do or who else to turn to but God. And uh, please remember me when you pray. Remember this ministry. 
I'm marching forward, straight ahead, straight on. Uh, people come, people go. People join women, people leave. And that's all right, but I would like to know where somebody stands and stand firm with me and not just waver back and forth, or, um, you know, because I'm with you 100%. <laughs> if I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm not 50. I'm not back and forth. I'm with you all the way. And Daddy. I would respect somebody. I, I would expect somebody to give me the same uh, oh, in return. But everybody's different. Scared. But remember me when you pray and remember those who need prayer and guidance in their life. Need to hear a revelation from God. Um, the Bible says if any lack wisdom, let them ask it of God. I'm going to be preaching and evangelizing to a local church near here, down in South Carolina, this coming Sunday night. And I believe that the Lord's leading me to a certain way about dealing with wisdom, who is wise, and who was Solomon, and who was the wisest man that ever lived, and things like that. Uh, you know, the Bible says that Solomon, before Jesus, was the wisest man that ever lived. And that meant that if he was 20 years old, he was more wiser than a man that was 200 years old, you know. And so God gave him that. And it came from God. Wisdom comes from God, not with, not from age, or not from the world, or worldly teachings, or manly wisdom. It comes from God. But uh, anyway, uh, just a little video here, a thought process. Remember this ministry when you pray. I'm Pastor Gene Williams, giving a holy salute. To all Christians everywhere, in Jesus' name, God bless you. Keep looking up. Amen.